this morning, control of Congress up in the air, with both the House and Senate still hanging in the balance. Republicans acknowledging the expected red wave never materialized. Definitely not a Republican wave, that's for darn sure. It hasn't been as big of a wave as I'd hoped it would be. While the battle for the Senate may not be decided for days, Democrats are celebrating a critical Senate pickup in Pennsylvania, where Lieutenant Governor John Fetterman, just months removed from a stroke, defeated his Republican rival, celebrity TV doctor Mehmet Oz. This campaign has always been about fighting for everyone who's ever been got knocked down that ever got back up. Georgia's Senate showdown appears headed to a runoff next month if neither incumbent Democratic Senator Raphael Warnock nor Republican Herschel Walker can reach the 50 percent threshold. Y'all just hang in there. I'm feeling good. I told you he's going to be tough to beat. He got the wrong Georgia here, don't he? Democrats showed signs of strength in a number of key races. So, you know, you got to hats off to the Democrats. They perform well in a lot of these swing districts. Two Democratic senators who'd been considered vulnerable, New Hampshire's Maggie Hassan and Colorado's Michael Bennett, both fending off challenges overnight. And in some of the country's most competitive House races, Democrats touting narrow victories, including in Virginia. Thanks to your commitment and hard work, we have won this race. But some critical wins for the GOP, holding on to a key Senate seat in North Carolina. And in Ohio, Republican political novice, author J.D. Vance, beating Democrat Tim Ryan. Vance was endorsed by former President Trump. I will never forget where I came from, and I will never forget the great people of Ohio. A major bright spot for the GOP, Florida. Governor Ron DeSantis and Senator Marco Rubio cruising to re-election. Across the country, voters sending a message that they're dissatisfied with President Biden and particularly worried about the economy, with nearly a third saying in exit polls that rising inflation mattered most to them this year. But abortion rights was the second most important issue and a huge motivating factor for Democrats. Now both parties facing a deeply divided electorate ahead of the next presidential election. And here in Pennsylvania, according to the NBC News exit poll, voters were confident in John Fetterman's ability to serve this state effectively despite his health challenges. Dr. Mehmet Oz fell short of convincing those same Pennsylvanians that he had lived in this state long enough to serve it. Savannah Hoda. All right, Peter Alexander leading us off. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.